catch you about that. You know, if we weren't cousins, I'd marry you. He's never up. stopped anyone in this family before. You got a point there. <laughs> Why? He found them. You were supposed to get the eggs. Oh, I thought you were. Now, this time, you've gone too far. Now, Jesse, oh, we... Where'd you get them? Sheriff Roscoe snuck them in on a truckload full of fertilizer. So we hijacked the truck. You mean you stole these gambling machines and a truck? Oh, no. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Well, we uh, left the truck in front of the sheriff's office. You should better start making like one hell of a mechanic or we're going to become midwives. Oh, Lucas K. and Beauregard. Oh, uh, that's just Bo, ma'am. I can't believe this. This office made a deal with... with... Moonshiners. That's the word you're looking for, ma'am. Uh, Andy Roach got permission from higher up. Must have. Lucas K. and... Bo. Regard. I sure hope Uncle Jesse had a good night cooking. Uh, you don't never have to worry about Uncle Jesse. He'll be there. Yeah, well, I never doubted that. Don't move. Caught you in the act. Terrible mistake. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all stick around for the barbecue, you hear? All right, Enos. Now, don't either one of you two move, or I'm going to drop this in there, and we're just going to have a big Roman candle. Ain't we off to a good start? Robin Hood, those are supposed to be duds. Now, only you could mix in a live one with a detonator cap. Now, who in the world would blow up an outhouse? I don't know how it happened, Uncle Jesse. I was, see, I was making duds out of the dynamite case so we could My practice My car it. magazines! Well, what I must have done is put the real dynamite next to the uh, box with the duds Bo, in it. you got the IQ of a turnip, a small one. Now you have exactly one week, both of you, to have a brand new one sitting right there. You have the right to remain silent. You, you, uh, you had the, um, uh, you, you have the right to remain, uh, will you give me the card? Okay, give me that. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Hmm, don't look too good, does it? I guess I gotta hand it to you this time, cousin. You seem to know all the shortcuts. Not all of them. I know one a little shorter. You know, this is the first time to ever fish this creek and ever caught anything. <laughs> now, ain't that some kind of luck? If it had been a month sooner, fishing would have been out of season. And old Roscoe would have had to throw them back. This road goes back to Springville. So I ain't perfect. Just pretty. Not you, you dips, Jesse. Oh, I finally got you, Bo. Now, I knew I'd get you, and I got you. You get good. Hey. Enos, watch it. Get those people out of that truck. We're pulling away from it. <laughs> well, maybe we are, but I ain't. Cletus, what did you go and do that for? Give me the key. Because if I don't turn myself in, ex-cousin boss will even have Mama Drum to clean out of the family. Well, how you figure to turn yourself in without turning us in, too? Look, I got an idea. Let's solve this the old American way, by voting. OK. All right. All in favor of surrendering, say yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. All opposed to surrendering, say no. No. Nope. Nope's got it. We win, you lose. Give him the key. Come on. Oh, all right. Only because I was outvoted. Fair and square. Oh, let's go, cousin. I learned something, though, Bo. A man ain't truly been insulted till he stood buck naked in front of a woman she didn't even notice. Her care. Uh, Uncle Jesse, uh, who died? Who died? 
You've got the nerve to ask me who died. You two get to that barn. Get in there. After all you put me through, oh, just I ought wait. to take what? a switch to both of you. Now, just get in there. Now then. Yes, sir. All right, you two. Now, you explain to me why you're alive. Praise the Lord. Instead of dead and drowned, no thanks to Roscoe. Limit the damage to your half of the car, OK? Thanks for that note of confidence, my hour of need. Wait a minute. You didn't tell us Shoulders was going to be driving the slammer. Well, you didn't ask. <laughs> Just another pretty face, huh? <laughs> Stay low. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose me either. Nice day for a swim. That's what I like about you fellas. Y'all don't lie. We are going swimming, ain't we? Looks that way. You have a right to remain silent, but if you give up hey, that hey, right... Hey, Roscoe, you... I got an idea. What? If you write some music to that, Luke and I'll sing it for you. Well, you... you... Hush. <laughs> Get your hands off of me. Hush, <laughs> Bo. You sure ain't got much respect for a wax job. Daisy is just gonna kill you. Me? What are you talking about? We well, could at least try to stop me. Oh, Not the way you drive. Come on. When they told Daisy about her car, she took it pretty good. Lucas? Oh, come on, Luke. Where are you? We ain't got time to play hide and seek. Luke? Right. Oh. What happened to you? I ran into them three that sideswiped us this morning. The last thing I remember was taking a swing at this big one. He's about the size of a Mack truck. Well, what'd you hit him with, your eye? Oh, I hope I hurt his hand with my face. Yeah, let's go find the dude. Fuck. Woo! Telling you, folks. That's some kind of driving. Yep. Come on, the wheel. Get out. Leave a planet that way. For sure. Oh, you lose a horse, you find a saddle. Neither. My pickup truck broke down. I didn't want to leave the saddle in the back. And the locks broke. Uh, yeah, I'd be much obliged. Hey, that... uh, hey. In the window. <laughs> Sounds just like Merle Haggard, don't he? All right, here it comes. I don't know. Sounds like we picked up a new ra rattle. Oh, don't move. Just listen to me. 
down by the brake pad. Now don't move. Uh, I ain't gonna move, but I'm fixing to make a new door here. And there's the test. If he keeps bumping and jarring us like that, it's bound to rile that snake and he's gonna strike. Now, how'd you like to be in a car with a rattlesnake and all the doors welded shut? Free! Cook! I got you. I got you. All right. Here goes. <laughs> it ain't even duck cutting cheese on. I just caught myself a couple of dead ducks. Thanks, guys. I'll turn the damage some Anything for you, darling. Let's head on over to the junkyard and see if we can pick us up a new fender. Well, you try. We better pick up a new right quarter panel, a left quarter panel. A all right, all right. <laughs> Hey, Bo. Yeah. Get on over here. Sir. You ever been a fight manager? No, I ain't. Well, I ain't no position to be choosy. But I ain't about to stand by and watch Uncle Jesse lose the farm any more than you are. <laughs> so right. I, I got me a score to settle with that catfish. Hey, you know, that was just a lucky shot. You know, hey, you never do that again. You my teeth years. pretty good, I'm yeah. telling you. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Walk on that car? Uh, yes, sir. Well, how do you like that? <sighs> you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but you sure don't look like the general's doing too good. Hey, you sure showed them. Cute. I'll call Cooter on the CB. All right. The old man sure gives me a strange feeling, Luke. How uh, about his daughter? She gives me a feeling, too. It just ain't quite so strange. <laughs> he drops license plate. Hey, fellas! Hey, fellas, you lost your license plate! Hey, Luke, why don't you pick me up? We catch up, give it to him. if you can point me to the sheriff's office. Boy, it's right, 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 right down across from Seth. It's, it's been a while. We Come on. Come on. We're heading towards Highway 3. Get across the LJ Meadows, we can still take them. I'll pay your dust. You sure will, cousin. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Now, just put them on there. I ain't gonna mess with you. Roscoe. Me. I finally got you, didn't I? All right, come up here. Get those cuffs on. All That's right. It. Just get them on there. I knew I'd get you. I knew it. Get up here. Get up. Dang it, Roscoe. You, you, we you just listened to us a minute. Will you hush? Hush. Roscoe, we did not rob that general store. No, look. A guy hijacked a general. We figure it's Digger Jackson. I bet you anything it was him that robbed the store, too. Oh, sure. And my mother's Jeb Stewart. You... Roscoe, we're sorry to hear about yeah, that. Look, we really take are, these but you gotta off. take these Come handcuffs off. Don't off. come so close. R Roscoe, now look out behind you. Oh, you think I'm gonna fall? Roscoe, Roscoe! Roscoe, oh, oh, oh. Roscoe you all right? You just freeze it! Freeze it! Freeze! Like three hands on a steering wheel. Well, I'd drive, but you'd have to run alongside them. I'll drive. Listen, don't, don't crowd me. Don't crowd me. Nope. I'm writing your citation here. Is it serious? Let, let's see what we've got here. You see me worse? Nope. Do something? Cletus, did we catch you or did you catch us? Lord, what are we just going to catch? We can keep our hands down, can't we? <laughs> All right, gents. Immediate seating is available. 
Boy, I hope you're proud of yourself. What it, do you it mean? It was a heck of an idea. Heck of a... Cletus, you ever know me to have a heck of an idea? Uh, Luke, I smell a good old Duke shuck and jive. Come on, fellas. Uh, let's argue inside the cell, all right? If it's your idea to try and run away from him, now how are you going to run away from a gazelle like Cletus? Gazelle? Gazelle? A gazelle! Cletus, look, don't put me in the same cell with him, all right? I mean, put me downstairs or something. I'm liable to take his head off. Take my head off, huh, Luke? Well, why don't you try it right now? All right, hey, come on now. Hey, listen, Cletus, 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 Come on. My name first, huh? <laughs> and you do it. Me do it? Come on. Hey, you're older. Not much. Enough. <laughs> I like you, Cole. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Ah. We got Daisy. We gotta catch him. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, hi, Bo. Hi, Luke. Hi, Cletus. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Hey, watch Cletus. it, Cletus. Come on, that's our paint. Oh, yeah, hey, listen, just move your car a little bit so I can get at What's you, okay? Hey, Bo, yeah, let's pull the car inside, all right? Here, you can't just walk out of the car like that. Come on, 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 I'm going to have to give you a ticket. You want one? Yeah, thanks. Here, take the whole thing. Hey! Tell you what, give me the ticket when you catch me. Bo, come back here! He's definitely trying to stall us. That must mean boss is pulling something on Daisy. All right, one of you dukes get in there and start the engine. I just put on my smog sniffer. <laughs> Good to Yes, yeah, sir, Roscoe. <laughs> you, uh, thinking what I'm thinking? He couldn't be that stupid. Is he good? Start the engine and let it run for, oh, say, 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> Why don't you just move this piece of trash on down the road before I get you for illegal? You're the boss, Roscoe. This uh, steel ain't here. Hey, you know, I bet he's at the Moss Hotel. Yeah, there's one way to find out. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Ty's a good knife. Hey, see if you can get my knife out of the pouch here. All right. Got it. Get it? Yeah. All right, come on. Come on back up. Can you... Well, can you get these here? Can I tie it? Maybe I can cut it. There you go. Okay. If I slip, watch yourself. <laughs> We're already blood brothers, remember? <laughs> Hi, Cletus. Cletus, oh. get up. Come on, you. Yeah. Thanks, Thomas. Hi. Heck to myself. Well, they're right pretty, Cletus. Oh, yeah, especially the poison ivy. That's a nice touch. Poison oh, ivy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy. I just wanted to tell you, you know, when you kissed me and told me what you told me out there on the highway, you made me the happiest fella in Hazard. Listen, I'll get you some more flowers, and I'll be right back. Maybe we can have lunch, OK? Hmm. <laughs> Swavy, boy's seen too many Cary Grant movies. What in the heck's gotten into him? Oh, no. You don't drink. Well, maybe he should. What did you say out on the highway? I didn't say anything. You fellas were there. I, I thanked him for not giving y'all a ticket, and I... Oh. I said I love you, Cletus. <laughs> oh, I, remember. I remember. I say that to everybody. It's just a way of talking. Uh, I think mean, Cletus took you serious. Well, don't worry about it. He'll get over it. We better, we better beat feet, huh? Yeah, here, keep this cold. Mm, uh -huh. I love you, Daisy. Oh, get out of here, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> it's the least I can do for the nephews of such a fine man as your uncle. Oh, glory be. That Jesse Duke just sets my motor at fast idle. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Try perpetrated by the Duke Boys. Yeah, Taking the money from poor and needy orphans. Yeah. Roscoe, now arrest him. Oh, 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 oh,
lead us? Yeah, Roscoe needs you. Write everything down, just like it happened. I already got started. Give me that. Give me that. Be careful. I trust me. You ever think about shopping oh, this thing? God. There you go. Well, here, let me get that down. All right. What do you think you're doing here? Well, I'm looking for somebody. Well, here he is now. <laughs> I'd like you to meet my cousin Bo. <laughs> you know, friends and neighbors, that was a pretty good right cross. having a tail light that ain't working. That's right. <laughs> well, this too. You know it ain't. Luke, it, it ain't working. It's broke. I saw it when you drove in. What do you mean? It, it ain't working. Oh, ain't working? God, you should love Are it. You kidding? Your oh, old kid put the finger on you. Anyway, you're going to get a ticket. Here well, you don't go. give it to me. Give it to Luke. He was driving. Now, oh. you were the one who said we got busted for it four uh, times. But this you had possession oh, of the steering wheel. Now, yeah. where do you suppose old Flash is going with Roscoe's diary? You paper my room with these things. Our it's room. Too. Most dogs would rather bury a bone than a diary. Maybe old Flash is one of them vegetarians. All right. There you go. <laughs> give me the pen. <laughs> give us a copy. I'll give you a Why copy. Why don't you let me keep the pen? You keep the, the copy. blue one. Hush. I know which copy. Oh, good. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You got more tickets than I do. So here's Luke, Uncle Jesse. What's wrong? Where are you at? I'm on the old mill road right near Sutter's Creek. Uh, it seems I kind of got my ankle out of joint. I stepped in a gopher hole or something here. Some fellas tried to run me off the road and... Their diary! Roscoe's diary, Jesse! Where is it? They took it. Oh, this is Saturday, ain't it? They took it! What? Uncle Jesse, listen, Luke and me are on the way. Don't you move. Give it! Oh, wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute! You boys ain't going nowhere but jail. Roscoe, you know what a ploy is? Well, no, it's, uh... Um... You're looking at one. Carla, this is a ploy by these dukes to get back that pile of charges I got against. Oh, now, wait a minute, Josh. Ah! Roscoe, lock them up. All right. Freeze, you poise. Listen, just move it. Roscoe, you heard Uncle Jesse on the CB. He hurt himself. Get over there and get oh, in that cell. We can't sit there. around here. Uncle Jesse hurt it. Push it right there. Hey, hey. Hey, Roscoe, I can't hold a gun. I'm on probation. Let's go. Oh, no, oh, don't pull that gun in there. Clean it, clean it. Get after it. I haven't got either. Job. We ain't in a rush. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm going to gun them tires, though. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Come in. Get the door. There it <laughs> is. There it is. All right, Roscoe's diary now. Hand over that charge file. Ooh. All right, all right. Fair exchange. Yeah. That for this, this for that. Yeah, for this. Give it here. Uh, uh, now, come on. I ain't sure I trust you. Hand me that first. Oh, listen, I have a humongous idea. Listen, on the count of three, you both exchange, okay? Agreed. Oh, I love all right. That. Okay, one, two. Uh, oh, I didn't say three. You're cheating. Now, you, you wait a minute. I've been thinking about it. Ever since I can remember, you've been trying to snooker us dukes at everything we own. I think it's about time you paid for it, oh, boss. Oh, listen, we had a deal about yeah, this. Yeah. No, sir, you made a deal with Luke. You never talked to me about nothing. Listen, Bo, give me a watch it, now, Roscoe, I'm going to take care of this. Now, oh. listen, Bo Duke, I don't take kindly to you making me look like a fool. Ooh. Now, I promised that man I was going to hand him that diary. Ooh. Luke, it seems to me that you'd be on my side. He's been trying to snooker us at everything we own. I ain't going to give it back to you, neither. Not unless you pay for it. Now, you going to stand in front of that door or what? So you think you're mad enough to go through me? You go ahead. I think I can go through you. Oh, 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 
you permanent. That's you, boss. If you ever want to see this diary again, you're gonna have to pay me real good for it. You got it? I know every move of that double-dealing, double-crossing cousin of mine. Good idea. Let him drive. Are you kidding? He can't drive. He, he's no lawman. He can't drive the sheriff's car. Well, then deputize me. You deputize him. The diary's getting away. I can't just go poof, you're a deputy. Go poof, or you're fired. Poof, you're a deputy. Come on. Just one hand apiece. Getting this a little deep, ain't you? Shut up! I'll finish you right here. Well, uh, hook him up to the side mirrors. All right. Now, Pull it so hard, you know. I'm coming. Uh, uh, listen, quick. Uh, you know, really. Don't try anything. Uh, talk, talk this over. Have fun, fellas. Distinct impression. Ah! You don't want to talk. There's the marshal's car. We still got these dang handcuffs on. Come on, let's go over to Cooter's. I got an idea. All right. Let's see if you can see any uh, bolt cutters. <laughs> there you go. You've done it now. You got to sure you got the right place. I mean, the beer's cold, the food's bad. Pretty, pretty good. No, no, no. Hey, good boy. Let him go. Oh, ain't you never learned how to do that right? Marcus, take his knife. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so, that tie here. Oh. It looks like we're going to have to give out duplicate prizes. Good. Anyhow, I'm very pleased to announce that the winners are Bo and Luke Zeus. Oh, 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 that's the Nicky Jocko. Oh, 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 hey, how you doing? Well, Bo slowing down his old age. Well, don't y'all want to get a better look at the love vision? <laughs> what a horrendous surprise. I'll tell you, Daisy, you still are the prettiest and healthiest girl in heaven. Yeah, you, you come home for a visit, didn't write or nothing? Oh, well, we ain't exactly home for a visit, Uncle Jesse. We're home for good. <laughs> yep. Why? What happened? You in trouble? <laughs> No, shoot, things no, ain't there been ain't better. No trouble. Listen, we talk about it later over dinner, all right? All, yeah. all right, now, I'll tell you what. You fellas stay here and have a beer. Daisy and me will go home and fix a big welcome home. Party. All right, you do it. <laughs> we'll leave well, it. I want to say something. I'm just so thrilled I got my whole family back together again. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Hey, I think the general needs a gentle hand today. Yes. So you'll drive. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you fellas, you were just little tykes when you came here. What? We used to keep track of your height right there on that door jam. I remember that. You still got marks here. <laughs> Look at that. I always thought I was going to be bigger than you, too. <laughs> Bo ought to be getting tired of this. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait. You wait just one minute now. Uh, you and me, got to get one thing. Right oh, you tricked me on that. Luke! Luke! Now, ready one more time. Hey, Ross. Oh, oh, listen. Listen, don't come sneaking in here like that, you know. You nearly scared the wrinkles off a of flash here. Flash, we're sorry about that, but listen, we got a scare of our own, Roscoe. Yeah, we got shot at by some loony in a black limousine. It had personalized plates, NW. Right. Why? What do you mean, why? You don't know why. Well, if I know you two jokers, you probably did something to instigate it in the first place. And as soon as Flash and I get through with her dog training, well, then we'll go out there and find out what you two did. 
What we did, it was this guy who did the shooting, Roscoe. Yeah, not us. We didn't shoot nobody. Oh, tiddly tiddly. You expect me to take your word against a man who ain't even here to defend himself? I'd give up. I'd give up. Oh, does that mean that you're going to make a full confession? Roscoe, it doesn't mean we're ready to make a full confession. What it means is that... Out, out, riffraff. Tiff. Roscoe, you're not well. We'll take care of this whole thing ourselves. <laughs> They're probably thicker than thieves right this very minute. Yes, no, yes. You yes. Stay in there and you Luke, stand. The kid is a common criminal. He stole a general lead and, and went, went for a joyride. All right, it's wrong. He broke the law. Well, but... I think he ought to be taught a lesson, don't you? The only lesson he's going to learn at Juvenile Hall is how to be a bigger and better crook. Look, are you boys going to file charges against this kid or not? No. Yes. No. Yes, we are. Bo, we volunteered to be big brothers, didn't we? Yeah. Now, that carries with it a responsibility. You know, teach a kid right and wrong. You boys made up your minds yet? Yes, sir. We, uh... We won't file no charges against him. We'll just take him on back to Hazard. Well, come on. You gotta sign him out. Sit up straight. Uncle Jesse sees you sitting like that, he'll whoop your hide. Yeah, just put your John Henry right here. <laughs> Is it by imagination, or does it look like Andy's put on a little weight since we left Capital City? Yeah, I'd say about, uh, two, three pounds. Especially from the waist up. Andy! Hold up a minute. <clears throat> Luke and me was kind of wondering if, uh, maybe you wouldn't want to take off that shirt. Why? <laughs> well, Bo is thinking that maybe you might be a little hot under the collar. Oh, come on, what? You, little... you know, mm. I, I must have forgot to take one off every time I tried another one on. You must have. Luke, I'm telling you, this kid would steal your eye teeth and tell you you needed glasses. Now, Bo, he ain't going to change over tonight. Give him a chance. Give it. He ain't going to change unless there's a week with two Sundays in it, Luke. Don't you two boys ever agree on that? Yes, thing? we do. We agree on a lot of stuff. Now, just stay out of this, would you? <sighs> Listen, Luke, he's right. You know, we've kind of been at each other's throats since he's been around. Well, that just proves he ain't wrong about everything. Yeah, you got a point there. Here. Take that. Put it on. And then you're going to take these back into Rue Bottoms and apologize. Oh, come on, Luke. Are you crazy? That's like giving Boss Hogg the key to the United States Mint and saying, just watch it for a little while. You got a better idea? Yeah, I got a better idea. Why don't you take it there yourself? Well, why me? Well, because somebody's got to watch the kid. Oh. Well, watch him, then. I will. And watch the kid. Andy! Dang it. He's a little low on that side. Well, shoot. Tire's flat. Oh, Lord, I hope we got some air in that spare. Yeah, me too. Excuse me. You got a trip on here or what? I think so. Oh! <sighs> Luke, you can go right on ahead defending Mr. Dillinger here. I think we ought to bring him back to Capital City. You know, Bo, actually, this kind of reminds me of that night you got a butt full of rock salt over in Mrs. Thompson's melon patch. You know when you was about his age? Luke, that's different. Them watermelon was just laying there on the ground. You gonna tell me these hubcats just laying in the trunk? It ain't no big deal. Come on. Besides, it doesn't seem to me I ate that watermelon all by myself. Yeah, but, boy, uh, you guys went to some heavy stuff, huh? You pipe down and get back in the car. Come on, slow it down, slow it down. Make it look like we're running out. Yeah, you're really good at this. Oh, I ain't believing this. <sighs> Dang it, Luke. You just come off the NASCAR circuit, and you don't know enough to tell that the car is running out of gas. What? Enos, listen, would you do us a favor? You help us push this car on down to Cooter's, put some gas in it. Golly, Bo, I'd be happy to, but I, I, I'm right in the middle of the stolen hubcat report right now. Oh, come on, Enos. It'd only take a minute. Besides, you don't want us blocking up traffic here. Well, you, got, you got a point there, Luke. Uh, yeah. You mind pitching in, Miss Howard? Come on, give me the push now. I'll navigate here. Go, Duke. Back. Get your lazy butt out of this car. All right, all right. It's got to be some kind of connection. Now, why do you think that she's in town buying up all this whole place for such high prices? That's what we got to find out. Look, you head out to Pruitt's pasture where those guys are dynamiting. Yeah. See if you can find something, all right? Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go straight to the source. Lousy job, but somebody's, somebody's got to do it. Be careful. We'll uh, take that little item, friend. 
Yes, sir. So, uh, be going. Yeah, just a second. I got something I want to talk to you about. Oh! That fella talk rough, don't he? Who says old boss will pay to get her back? You're kind of anxious to get home, huh? I ain't heading for home. I'm heading for the boar's nest. I've got a lot of things I want to say to J.D. And I want to say them while I'm still hot under the girdle. Oh, looks like we got company. Oh, well, he ain't staying long. I'll, uh, drive. Yeah, he'll drive. Yeah, I heard about you, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, Luke, I sure was looking forward to her driving us into town again. You know, life is full of disappointments. <laughs> Thank boy. God for that. <laughs> this town's full of heroes, ain't it? Who you got in there? What did you do to him? Is that... He is blonde and beautiful. If you want him to stay that way, you settle down. Whoa! Ow. I'm awake. Yeah, I'm awake. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look so good. I was worried about you. Well, you better listen to him now. You couldn't handle him. I couldn't handle him. No, well, I have my guy better. Easy. Why don't you go ahead and try it all yourself? Right. <laughs> Roscoe, you can't write us a ticket for illegal parking. You, ju you just knocked the General Lee into the red zone yourself. Oh, tiddly tuddly. Now, that's just your word against mine. Now, what you're it? in the red zone, you get a ticket. I've already made it up. <laughs> Roscoe, do you know the meaning of integrity? Oh, are you kidding? It's something you ain't got a lot of. Jeez. And this is what I think of your ticket, too. Well, see... <laughs> See, that's a shame, shame. Everybody knows your name. You get another ticket for that one. Well, you better go get another ticket book. I gotta go get another ticket book. Now, you two, you just freeze it right here. We'll freeze it right here. I'll be right back. Okay. You just go. Oh, I love it, I love it. Police work is my life. <laughs> hey, Roscoe, why don't you mail it to us? right. Not only does he want to help, but we all do. We're all family. I know that, but if anything was to happen to any one of you, I couldn't live with myself. Well, you think it'd be any easier for me to live with myself if something happened to you? Look, I'm having trouble living with the both of you. <laughs> now, I don't like running away any more than the next fella does, but you seem to be forgetting something. As soon as that guy gets his car out of that ditch, he's gonna come looking for us, and it ain't gonna be too hard, because he knows his car and he knows the general. Wait a minute. That fella's new around here. He's gonna have to take the main road out here, won't he? What are you getting at? I'll drive your car and you ride with Bona General Lee. Now, what good is that gonna do? You stay out of this. Uh, what good is that gonna do? <laughs> Don't you see Uncle Jesse Luke is gonna be a decoy? Right. Sure, Luke's gonna drive Judd's car and they're gonna chase him. Right, while Bo and Judd are in the General Lee heading the other way on some back I road. I can't let to... you do uh, that. Luke, why don't we go to McCall's place? That's a great idea. That'll It'll work. buy us some time. We'll no. be able to figure a way out of the situation. No, right. Maybe no. they'll just leave. That's right, and you won't be running. That's right, and I'm gonna make you some sandwiches while y'all are holed up. That ought right. to help. Ham sandwich. Uncle Jesse, you're gonna need some traveling money. We, we better, better pack. pack. Come on, come on. Pretty first piece to go, even with the general. We had something faster. Yeah, there ain't nothing faster than a general, you know that. I wonder if that rope ladder's still in that crop duster. Oh, now you're kidding. I'd do it if I wasn't driving, you know that. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, call her. Hey, Daisy, look, I, I, I don't think it's there, but... Uh... Why don't you check and see if that rope ladder that Joe used to use for stunt flying is in the plane? Oh, 
Come on, tell me something about that fight. You ain't gonna answer. What we got to lose? <laughs> Collins here. <clears throat> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I heard that. Talk to you later. Well, if you said two, then how come this paint in the hazard pond is still wet? Because Artie Bender just painted it, that's why. I think we're going to change our minds. Well, it didn't look like anything was going to stand in Bowen Loot's way now. But you better believe that they don't have this kind of problem and they want to get some new paintings for the loot. Well, that's art gallery for all you folks that ain't got no culture. All right, all y'all, back right on up into this holding cell. You just came out of it. Stop it! Stop it! Daisy, look, we understand how you feel. No, you don't. Or you wouldn't be leaving. And how do you think Uncle Jesse's gonna feel come Saturday? And everybody's wishing him happy birthday, except the two people he loves more than anything in this world. Easy. And 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 what about harvesting time is coming up? How do you expect a man his age to do it all by himself, huh? Someday you're gonna know how it is with Luke and me now. Yeah, well, I know how I feel right now. Daisy. <laughs> Oh, baby. Now you be good. Yes, sir. Girl. Oh, Mary Beth, what the heck do you think you were doing? That was a stupid thing for you to be doing. I'm only trying to read the tag. You could have got us both killed is what you could have done. If you want to know what the engine RPMs are, why don't you just ask me? I am the driver, remember? Well, I am the owner, remember? It's your car. You drive it. That is it. If you think Mr. Carver is trouble, this girl is a big problem. Hold on a second. She's just a spoiled brat. Hey, listen, we've got a job to do, and we're going to do it. We ain't going to back out. So you just keep your wits about you. Just cool down. Yeah, all right, all right. How'd you do with Mary Beth? Oh, I'm still breathing. Hard, but still breathing. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, shoot. I must have hit my elbow on the steering wheel when I stopped. You all right? Hey, real good. Thank you. Help me on there, would you? You hurt, Bo? Uh, what happened to your arm? We got no time for that right now. We better get some ice on this. It's starting to swell up. Oh, we got all that at the house. Come on. All right. Does that hurt? That hurts, about... right? Oh, let me see that arm. No, 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 no it's yeah. hot. Wait, would you take that off? Just a second. Look, look, Luke can take care of it, all right? Uh, besides, there is something uh, more important you could do. Uh, why don't you have Herky go check out the front end on that race car? When I went around that last corner, it was acting a little strange. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, no I just don't no. want you to hear him scream when I start racing. Ah, I'm not going to. Will you just be careful? I won't have to scream. Oh, OK, Mr. Macho. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here, okay. wrap that up the rest of the way. Hey. Oh, joy, ain't he? Yeah, well, he don't scare me none. That's... Matter of fact, I think if I mess up, I'll blame it on my chief mechanic and backup driver. It's always safe. <laughs> Howdy. Oh! Oh! oh. That's it. Who the hell are you doing here? You're yeah. supposed to be racing. Yeah. I know it, I know it. I thought you was dead. Thanks a lot, Miss Tisdick. Yeah, I'll say hello to Uncle Jesse for you. She made me take a number. She made me take a dang number, and there's nobody in there. <sighs> what makes you take a number? I got it. Ah, there we go. I'll bet this means I'm going to do the shopping by myself, huh? Yep. There is no justice. None. Yeah. No, it does on. take both of us to take this in. Yes, it does. Oh, and Bo. Yeah. You ever thinking about buying or renting a truck? You come see me. You hear? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll come see you. 
Did you buy a used truck from that lady? You bet I would. Oh, you're easy. Thanks a lot. Except for this black paint job, this truck looks just like the one Enos was chasing. Yeah, it's a wet paint job, too. Huh? Don't you believe me? Okay, listen. If you want to find Luke, we'll take you to him, okay? All right. All right, uh, just, just follow us. All right, hit, go! Right. Follow us, Enos! Cooter, I'd hang on if I was you. up what for we weren't speeding this thing won't even do the speed limit <laughs> now they, they got a point there well, they were going that slow huh mm -hmm. all right then just write them up a ticket for impeding traffic impeding traffic mm -hmm. oh, good. Oh, that's good. Don't that's, you that's, please that's brilliant i'm glad you're my partner just start writing I'm, please. I'm, right. I'm, I'm yeah when he gets through writing that ticket you duke boys are gonna have to pay 25 bucks yep. cash on the barrel here we ain't got no 25 bucks uh could we maybe owe it to you? Oh. Owe me? Owe me? <laughs> you owe me too much already. Yeah. But tell you what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to impound that vehicle of yours until you make good on all them other oh, tickets, including gosh. this one. Roscoe, get in there and start driving. All right. Come on, hey. give him the Can ticket and stop driving. Know. Know. Right, Roscoe, you can't leave us out here in the middle of the road with no wheels. Well, I don't intend to do that. I'm going to CB your Uncle Jesse and have him pick you up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love it. <laughs> a day and a half. Listen, we got a long night ahead of us. We better get back at it. But I ain't even got mine unwrapped. I ain't even had a bite yet. I'm taking mine with me. Think you're gonna get this thing started in two days? Well, we're sure gonna give it a try. Mayonnaise? <laughs> well, y'all, we only got a couple hours till race time. If we're gonna get a trial run, we better get at it. Hey, Bo, listen. I'm letting you drive this thing, but you be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thanks again. Oh, come on. <laughs> Take a look at that, and it's a good one. I read oh, it to thank it. you, Doug. Thank you, Luke. Bye, Ina. Appreciate it. Hot chocolate. Get old banana pudding, huh? Hot dog. Uh, Betty Jo, what are you doing here? I brought the sheriff and his deputy. Where are they? Uh, they're kind of tied up at the moment. One crime thing. after another. You, you just... uh, listen, we ain't got time to talk about it right now, but you're dead wrong about us. We're not as bad as you think. Well, I'm not as bad as you think. Actually, still can't understand her turning on us like she did. Well, you got to look at it like this. If, if you was in her place, you'd probably feel the same way about us. If I was in her place, I'd probably feel the same way about you, but I dang sure trust me. Uh, uh, don't do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Uh... Oh. Here, Uncle Jesse. I'm going. I got me a score to settle. Bo, you just wait a minute now. Bo, come here. Now, I know Luke's been acting up lately, but you fighting him ain't going to help matters none. We're family. So it's up to us to figure out what's hurting him and try to help him. You got that? Yes, sir. Remember. Right there, Bo. Luke, you don't use that gun on me. Uh, you did wrong about that. Now, if I don't put a stop to this stuff right here and now, you're gonna wind up spending the rest of your days behind bars. I really don't think you want to do that. <laughs> this here's for your own good. Oh, we doing 
down here. Who the heck beat? You, you did. Are y'all all right down there? Yeah. Ain't as refined. Luke's back to his old self. Why don't you take them two fellas in? I'll take him home myself. There's a spot where that X was on Daisy's map. Nothing out here but weeds. And Dee Clancy's hunting shack. I'm surprised you forgot about it. Why, there ain't been nobody out here for years. Except you and Lucy May last summer. <sighs> we ain't getting nowhere, sir. <sighs> Hey, uh, got me an idea. How's it feel? <laughs> Cute. Uh, like a pot. Nice. Great. I busted a dang string. Oh, gosh, we were just getting it, too. I ain't got no more strings, you? You put on my last set. Why don't you go into town and get some? I need to breathe there anyway. I think I'm getting overventilated. <laughs> <laughs> How about if we have some hot apple pie and coffee, Uncle Jesse? Uh, Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Why don't uh, I stay here with Uncle Jesse and Daisy? You go into town and get some. Bye. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, all right. <laughs> you can drive into town. How about that? Good morning, boy. Good morning. Good morning. What a nice day to be cruising our back roads, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we was doing, cruising. Uh, you, you wouldn't be calling me a liar if I was to see you speeding now, would you? I mean, that'd be grounds for taking you for Mr. Claiborne himself. Wouldn't you say? Uh, I, I'd say so. I suppose. Yeah. I thought so. Come on. Uh, leave the car? Leave it. Looks like a good idea. Yeah, taking it off here, sir. Taking it off. Taking it off here, sir. Taking it off. But it's been fun, but I need to move on. Yeah. Guess these guards around here don't look too bright, except Slater. I'm watching pretty close. Leaves the keys in his car. You uh, reckon we ought to try it? I think we ought to think about it a little more first. Voice that sounds familiar. The faces look familiar too. I just can't place the uniform. <laughs> Did you have a nice swim? Yes, sir. Come on. What we got here is a failure to demonstrate a good attitude. Now you two boys made a bad mistake trying to run out on me. The only mistake we made was getting caught. And we don't intend on making that one again. Is that so? Maybe a little time in solitary would help you see the error of your ways. No food for 24 hours. Lock them up. My pleasure, Mr. Claiborne. You should get the one with the view. See you in the morning. I'm going, Slater. Hazard, Bo. Yeah, 10-4. Oh, great. Hey, Luke, guess what? We got us some company. This old truck's giving me all she's got. I know. Just keep her steady. I'll try and hold him off. Luke, he's coming. Yeah, I see him. It's time to split up. Yeah, that's a big 10-4. I'll just stick to the road. Guys, listen, you better give him all you can. I can't hold him off. Bo Duke, a very, very closest friend of the whole world, and his cousin Luke. Go on, go on. Ross, Ross, come on, let's go. Ross, go. I won't have you ripping the wrapping up here. Listen, you're cluttering up us business, and I want you to stay out of the... And I mean, if you want to get out of the country, what the... Yo -ho -ho -ho. Just come on. You're under arrest. Arrest? Arrest for what? Oh, this is a biggie. Yeah. You held up that armor truck from my bank with three million bucks aboard, and I call that grand loss. Yes. All right, now, we know you dukes are hiding that truck around here somewhere. Now, where is it? 
Oh, Roscoe, you know the boys wouldn't do anything like that. And besides, where do you get off coming in here and making those accusations? We got them two lost in this near fuse of yours. Cold turkey this time. Yeah, come look, we got a witness. Enos here. He saw. Yeah, you're right, he saw us. He saw us pushing that armored car out of a ditch is what he saw. That's right, Mr. Hobbs. That's all they were doing. Enos, oh. will you hush your superior officer? Now, I will do the interrogating. Yeah. All right, you dukes. Now, you admit that you had a physical contact with that armored truck, right? Well, sure we had physical contact with it. How else are we going to get it out of a ditch? The guy drove down the street. We ain't seen him since. And we got work to do, so just back off. Wait a minute here. I ain't buying none of that. Listen, you swipe that truck in my money, and you're going to rot in jail until you confess. At least. Roscoe, take him away. Enos, cuff him and stuff him. Yeah, go on. But, but go on. they didn't... They were, the truck was going one way and they were going the other. They're innocent. Did you just do what you were told? Come on, give us the dang things. We get Roscoe for false Now, arrest. if you're wondering why they allowed themselves to be arrested, it's obvious that you ain't never had to dig post holes for a mile of fix. And while the Duke boys was cuffing and stuffing themselves. Oh, well, I'll be. We you it's the Duke's, yeah. Now, maybe you'll believe in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy and the rabbit with the long ears. Well. Oh, Duck! Luke Duke! Uh, boss. <laughs> what are we doing in jail? Well, you mean you don't know? Of course not. No, we we was going to Oh, we was going fishing, weren't we? Yeah, we was going fishing. Next thing we know, we find ourselves in here. <laughs> it's just like a genie said. <laughs> Genie who? It's not a genie who, it's a genie her. She's got the... It's none of their business. No, it ain't none it's of your business. It's too our business. We got a right to know why we're here. We're... You'll find out when I'm ready to tell you. Come on. Wait a minute, boss. Wait a minute. You're choking. Hey, we got rights. Don't we? Not here. Does your head hurt? Ah, oh, shit. Better come back to these, huh? Yep. Thank you. I don't know what it is every time. It's a big one with a little skull on it. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm.